Okay, so we've all heard the stereotypes, and frankly, I'm sick of them. Everything's bigger in Texas, but that's not true. I mean, it's not as if the cars we drive here are any bigger. I'll give you that one. Or that the cows we raise here in Texas are these humongous-sized breeds that... Bad example. Or that a single Texas-sized steak is enough to feed, say, 10 regular Americans. Okay, so maybe there is an ounce of truth to that stereotype. No, in fact, there's 72 ounces of truth to that stereotype. If anywhere in this great state lives up to the myth of Texas, it's the Big Texan. Home of the free 72 ounce steak. Free steak? Yeah, but don't miss the asterisk. It's sort of important. And to tell us more about the Big Texan Steak Ranch, our owners and brothers, Danny and Bobby Lee. Well, I bet, you know, based on the amount of steaks you guys sell, there's more cows in this building than there are on some legitimate ranches. Absolutely. In fact, uh, buying our beef, Danny will buy, you know, 200 cases of top sirloin, 200 cases of ribeyes. That's crazy. That's for a weekend. <laughs> Especially when you're serving a 72 ounce steak, that beef goes pretty quick. <laughs> I bet. Opened in 1960 along old Route 66, their father, Bob Lee, saw the need for a real Texas inspired steakhouse to cater to travelers looking for the Texas experience. And today, the Big Texan continues to entertain. Craft beer, a Texas-style shooting gallery, along with cowboy hats, buckles, and of course, Texas-sized steaks. The challenge all started with a friendly competition amongst cowboys. And over the course of an hour, one cowboy put down four and a half one-pound steaks, a shrimp cocktail, a roll, baked potato, and dinner salad. My dad said from this day forward, anybody that can eat this meal gets it for free. And 53 years later, it's still going strong. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, you heard that right. It's not just the 72 ounce steak. And you only got one hour to do it. But some folks don't even need half that long. Joey Chestnut, the guy that ate all those hot dogs at uh -huh. Nathan's contest, he came in and tossed the entire meal off in eight minutes and 52 seconds. Oh my so. gosh, that's incredible. Now there is no way I can touch that record. And it's probably a really bad idea to try, but you know this day tripper won't back down from one of the biggest challenges in Texas. Here goes nothing. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, dreaming of it. My chance to face up to not just a steak, but the whole bull. Win or lose today, this steak is a challenge that all red meat loving Texans must face at one point in their lives. A mountain that must be attempted. A bull that must be fought. Toro! Aquí! Aquí! Toro! Aquí! 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 Toro! Aquí! Let's hope I can do better fighting the beefy bull than this giant one. You know, you never know how much steak you can eat until you know. Let's go down. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the Big Texan, may I have your attention on stage, please? Today we've okay. got Chet Money Gardner from the Day Tripper attempting our 72 ounce steak challenge. He has one hour to put down four and a half pounds of our Texas top sirloin. If he completes this challenge in under an hour, it's completely free. If not, we're gonna keep his $72. This is at least four gigantic steaks. If I don't eat it, at least I'll go down in a blaze of steaky glory. The crazy thing is, this is actually a really good steak. That's about two ounces down. 70 to go. Starting strong. I'm running pretty fast, but I fear this steak is running faster. At this point, the world record holders would have already been finished. I have at least 60 ounces to go. That's a little depressing. You know, everybody has their theory about what to do, but when it comes down to it, you just gotta chew and swallow. Chew and swallow, chew and swallow, chew and swallow. One thing you gotta love about this challenge is that all 72 ounce eaters are on a stage for the entertainment and heckling of the entire restaurant. You can jump in whenever you want. Don't even, don't even buy a steak. I got 20 ounces there for you. Look at that, problem is, I got about 15 of its closest friends still on this plate. And there is no lack of advice. And that includes from the crew. Uh, I don't think you can do this, I'm sorry. 
Come on. Okay. You're supposed to you give me some totally encouragement. Can, you can absolutely do this. How you eat this much meat? Keep it, you gotta keep it down. You might wanna back up a couple steps. The okay, bucket's right down there. Look. If you just think of it as like a piece of human meat and you're a zombie <laughs> in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, and okay. you're starving. Really, that Ooh. is a really puny bite. Meat shakes, sorry. I'll hold your hair. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. <laughs> I think my body is digesting bites in my stomach about as big as this when I was young and optimistic 28 minutes ago. No matter how much I fight this thing, it does not go away. Chew, swallow, chew, swallow. You know, I would love to swallow every bite, but sadly, there's just no place in my stomach for it to go. And I must admit, it is in times like these, I'm reminded of the great President Teddy Roosevelt. It is not the critic that counts, but the man in the arena, who if he fails, fails valiantly. Woo! And that's all she wrote, folks. All right. No sides even touched, and 33 ounces of steak in my belly. That's almost half the steak, but it's all of my steaky abilities. Howdy, y'all. Thanks for sticking around and tripping Texas with us. Have you ever been to this spot? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. Or leave us a comment about a place that we've missed. And if you liked this video, chances are you're going to love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com where we have all kinds of travel guides, t-shirts, and all kinds of Texas goods that we've found during our travels all across the great state of Texas. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye, con Dios, amigos.